The painted canvas that illustrates the world of pipe smoking is, is not just painted in black and white. No, instead, this rhetorical canvas reveals an explosion of color. A world shaped by, by personality, choice, taste, upbringing, past, present, and even future. There are few rules in the world of pipe smoking, and to be honest, the rules we do have, well, they're so loose and up to personal interpretation that the word in and of itself fails to hold its meaning. Guidelines or even guardrails might be better. You know, the, the little rails that come up when you're bowling and, and it keeps the ball going from, from the gutter. Not that I've ever used them or needed them. Especially not last Sunday. Well met friends, my name is Adam and this is Get Piped, where we love to pipe. And today's piping will be all about artisan made smoking pipes. I've mentioned them many times before on my channel. I have a spotlight episode series showcasing work. I've written several articles in pipe smoking magazines and I'm always hyping them up on my weekly pipe smoking podcast. Just search Get Pipe Podcast on your Spotify, Apple, Google, Amazon, etc. I feel like people use the term etc. A majority of the time when they're like out of examples that's not the case for me we're talking stitcher etc in this particular video i want to touch specifically on why you might consider purchasing an artisan smoking pipe over say a factory pipe instead of having a bunch of great reasons scattered across an, an, an anthology of, of get piped videos and podcasts i figured it just made sense to, to kind of touch on it once now as i cryptically mentioned in the intro of this video pipe smoking as a hobby art practice lifestyle what say you is an unwritten journal you fill out your pages and, and write the story of your pipe smoking experience and as i have once again just cryptically mentioned there are no rules in pipe smoking no one, especially me, is saying you should dedicate yourself to just artisan pipes over factory pipes, nor vice versa. And if they are, well, cool, whatever, don't mind them. It's your story, your journey. Figure out what you like, have fun, smoke pipes. Okay, artisan versus factory. What's the difference? Stroking broadly, it's the difference between the number... That did not work. Broad strokes is the only way that that phrase can be communicated properly. In the context that I needed it to, to fit. Broad strokes, it's the difference between the number of hands involved in the making of the pipe from the beginning all the way to the end. The consensus here is typically that the pipe is a quote artisan made pipe if the individual took a block of briar alongside some ebonite or lucite, maybe some additional accent pieces like silvers, coppers, bamboo, horn, etc. and turned it into a functional smoking pipe. In my view, there aren't many variables here. Sometimes you might have several artisans come together and, and make a collaboration piece. I think that still checks out as artisan. But some of the famous pipe companies are, are fervent in their defense of their products being made by artisans and are therefore, in their view, making artisan pipes. That's where I think we're kind of stretching it a little bit. We think of Costello and then the early Dunhill. In my view, and really the collective view, those are factory pipes. Factory pipes have an expert stem guy who does all the stems. Factory pipes have an expert sanding guy who does all the sanding. Factory pipes have an expert rustication guy who does all the rustication. See, if you replace the word expert with artisan and the bottom line remains, many individuals had come together to bring about a single pipe in a classic Ford assembly line factory production model. There is an absolute place in this world for those pipes. I have many, 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 and they typically offer a cheaper price point due to the high production yield. They come in very likely your favorite shape, size, finish, and they can be purchased from virtually every modern retail. So I'm not here to diss on the factory game, just here to introduce the artisan option to you or maybe a friend of yours who is on the fence. Consider sending this video their way. Some of the common questions or really objections that are fielded against the idea of getting an artisan pipe are related to the cost. What makes a $1,000 pipe 10 times better than a $100 pipe? Why purchase one $700 pipe when I can purchase eight to 12 perfectly fine factory pipes? Or 116 Missouri Meershams? 
Okay, no one really adds that last part, but there is a, there's a, it's a free shout out to folks at uh, Missouri Meerschaum. Everyone can use a handful of those corn cobs. Yet there is some merit within each of these questions. Other folks might cite the difference in car makes, saying, yes, a Chevy will get you to and fro just like a Tesla would, but the premium price point of a Tesla comes with significantly better driving experiences. Now, I'm actually not one of these people. I think this argument fails on several levels. Sure, it checks out if we're, we're comparing a $30 basket pipe to maybe a $120 Savinelli factory pipe. I think that's a fair analogy. But when we talk about a $700 Talbert versus, say, a, a same Savinelli of $120 value, there just isn't much of a difference in the smoking experience. Certainly not $580 worth, but that is not why I purchased it. And at its core, it's really not why you should either. So to answer those questions, frankly, nothing, nothing really makes a $1,000 pipe 10 times better than a $100 pipe. Is it a little better? Yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe even a lot better, but likely not in terms of performance. Generally speaking, yes. Artisan made pipes are put together damn near perfectly. There is such care, precision, and accuracy in the turning, shaping, and drilling, sanding, and staining. They select the highest grades of briar, tossing away even the, the slightest faults that would otherwise compromise the smoking experience. The attention to detail translates into a, a better smoking experience for the end user. It will be perfectly balanced, comfortable in the hand and teeth, and will smoke without gurgle, whistle, or burnout. So sure, this makes the smoking experience better, perhaps even top quality, given the artisan's experience and, and skill. But that doesn't mean your Brigham pipe or your, your Stanwell can't emulate the same characteristics. No, we select artisan smoking pipes for their story. We can talk in depth about the price range of them in, in another episode, but for here, you can expect to pay anywhere from $150 to $1,000. Now, there are a number of outliers here that, that stretch past that $1,000 mark into the, the mid-1,000s, but, but a great majority of artisan smoking pipes will be constrained to that 150 to 1,000, really even 200 to, to 450. But again, a later discussion. Instead, I want to highlight their magic. Highlight the why pay so much for something so small, so delicate. To help illustrate this, I want to take a look at an artisan pipe maker that I've been following for, for some time now. A gentleman with some humble beginnings, but above all, a keen craftsman's eye and a burning artist's heart. great seas in a growing republic with a rather short history, consisting of more than 17,000 islands to some 275 million people, is the nation of Indonesia. While your most recent import of theirs might be coffee beans, mine was a handmade artisan smoking pipe from the heart of Indonesia's capital city, Jakarta. Therein lives a quiet individual, a modest man who lived comfortably as an architect, responsible for the creative design, planning, and supervision of a number of Jakarta's construction projects. Benny Joe saw, through his skill and mastery, 
the evolution of great homes and buildings from what was once just raw materials. Success in the architecture business was not lost on Benny in 2020 when he stepped away from it for good. See, Benny, a craftsman by trade, found a sudden spark for creation back in 2018 when he smoked his first artisan smoking pipe. He conjectured that he too could make his very own smoking pipe all by himself, given he understood what and how to acquire the proper material and equipment. He then dedicated all of his free time and resources to learning, researching, and studying. After two years of deliberate study and, and countless prototypes, Benny Joe finished and sold his very first artisan smoking pipe. It was in August of 2020. The spark within had kindled to a flame. His passion for architecture fleeted while the passion for pipe making enveloped his heart. Benny Joe's former aptitude in architecture is seen in every piece that he produces. Browse any and all of his catalog that comprises of Benny Joe Pipe. You'll see that designer eye and coordination in, in a myriad of artistic and enchanting pieces. Benny's pipes harness an earthen characteristic that commands attention. He is proficient in revealing that organic quality and, and intrinsic virtue of the briar. He favors and in turn excels at the freehand design. Unbounded by any fear to be different, Benny Joe's creativity shines bright allowing him to produce top-quality smoking pieces through his imaginative briar canvases. I highlight Benny Joe pipes for this very reason. Physically, you get a premium smoking tool that rivals any high-grade factory. Financially, you, you pay in that golden window that I had mentioned from before, that, that 200 to 450 range. Benny Joe sells his pipes from several locations, but primarily his personal Instagram and his Etsy store, called Benny Joe Pipe Shop where you can see his current available pipes as well as the, the wonderful feedback and, and reviews from his collector. Another great location based out of the US for faster shipping would be his exclusive American dealer, MBSD Pipes. I received my two Benny Joe pipes from MBSD Pipes. MBSD has a, a heavy presence on eBay, but is currently in the process of, of launching their own website. I think it should be pretty cool. Should go live within a month or so from, from this video airing any of those locations to include their Instagram, MBSD. You can reach Mitchell, super nice guy who, who runs a small business with his wife. Outside of Benny's work, they sell various artisans and, and Peterson's, Savinelli's, Escorti, Nording, and even their very own MBSD Meerschaum. So huge yes, but also no. We're, we're, we're here about artisan pipe making, so we're going to talk about artisan. I highlight Benny Joe here because of his story. See, Benny captures the essence of what it means to purchase an artisan pipe. It starts with an individual who, like a tattoo artist, created art for the world, but also just for you. Your artisan pipe will call to you. The story tied to their maker will move to you. And the handmade pipe that sits on your rack will, will please you. And finally, above all, when you're smoking that pipe, it will enchant you. Artisan pipes are an investment, man, but, but I promise they will provide a, a now hidden dormant joy within you. You'll look upon your, your one of one piece and find that deep happiness. To absolutely double down on this theory, I'm actually going to give away one of my two Benny Joe pipes. Absolutely free. The piece up for grabs has, has never been smoked nor, nor clenched or anything like that. It's not like I'm trying to give away the, the lesser of the two. No, this piece sat beautifully on my shelf for so many months now, and I, I just couldn't get myself to, to smoke it. Due to its beautiful shape and smoothness and the chamber's super pretty. Yeah, I have another probably five to six artisan pipes that are sitting literally right here, unsmoked as well. I don't know, they're just so pretty, but but no, smoke your pipes. I'll get to it eventually, I promise, but, or maybe I'll give more away. No, your wife would be very upset with me. She loves all my artisan pipes. Anyway, if you're interested in entering this giveaway, it's pretty simple. The rules are, are very simple. It's just hit the subscribe to my YouTube channel, write one thoughtful comment on this video below regarding your experience with artisan smoking pipes, and then leave your Instagram handle name at, at the end of it. If you don't currently have any artisan pipes, then explain your reservation or what you look forward to when you do one day eventually manage to get your hands on one. Then lastly, head over to Instagram and follow Benny Joe at Benny underscore Joe and MBSD Pipes at MBSD Pipes. And I will be announcing the winner on my Instagram. So it might be in your best interest to, to follow me as well, but I guess you don't have to. If you don't have Instagram, I don't know, make one.
Imagine being paid a $250 smooth grain artisan pipe to set up an account. Solid deal. Okay, as we wrap this one up, I just wanna ask you to consider artisan smoking pipe. You don't have to rid your collection of your factory pipes. No, no, no. I'm a pipe guy, and after all, I'm get pipes, not get tobaccoed. I just love the art of pipe making and pipe collecting. That and get tobaccoed sounded even more stupid than my current name. Nah, each pipe has a story and an artisan maker enchants his work with a little of his own story. I think it's the ultimate way to, to give back and support the what appears to be dying hobby. Together with all of our passion and learning and growing and, and injecting demand into the artisan sphere, we can save pipe smoking for generations to come. And I have a lot of reason to believe we are already well on that path. To hear all that reasoning in depth, be sure to subscribe to the Get Piped podcast found on all podcasting sources. We've yet to miss a week since our launch and you can expect an episode to come out this very Thursday. See, that's a cool statement because if you're listening to this or watching this two, three years in the future, it still holds true. We are in it for the long haul. Get Piped podcast, check it out, baby. I unironically just said baby. Uh, even if you're not interested in the giveaway, consider supporting Benny Joe by, by giving him that follow anyway. I'd love to get him to, to some success and eventually see him at the next Chicago or maybe Vegas International Pipe Show. No, I've never spoken to him, but I'd love to one day. Maybe sharing a pipe at one of the pipe shows in a smoking lounge. Sounds cool. That is it from me. You have all just been piped. And until the next piping, I'm out.